Oh, hello. Welcome to another video. And today I bring you some good news, I guess. That um, we are going to get some news about Kill Team Nightfall next week. We're going to have rules. Loads of rules spoilers to speculate on. We're going to have loads of information. Now. No. It's not because it's on this week's Sunday preview. So I, I, I know I need to stop, like, clockwork. I, I didn't do it last weekend, right? But I need to stop, like, clockwork making a video every Sunday that's like, I complain that, 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 that Nightmare's still not out. And I wasn't going to make that video today, but there is a little bit of positive news as well. But just to quickly get it out of my system, what happened in the world's Wintermore's going on Sunday preview? Now, Wintermore was part of the Adepticon previews that were on Thursday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's already being released. I, do you know, I felt like I understood what was going on with Games Workshop. I felt like, um, you know, whatever went on with Legion Imperialis had upended their schedule, and everything had been shaken about to find space for that, and, okay, 40k was forging ahead on schedule, because 40k is the big, most popular game, the big cash cow. But, like, if anything, it feels like Warhammer Underworlds is ahead of schedule, right? So, uh, I don't know. Why Why are they getting product so... It's, it's, it's just weird that they're getting product freakishly quickly after a preview. How long are we going to be waiting for Kill Team Termination? Like, three months at least, I reckon? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> three months at least. Yeah. End of June, I could see it. End of July, I could see it. Right. Um, June, probably. Right. But not soon. Certainly not before June. I don't know. Uh, it's weird for me because I one of the things, not the only thing, to be fair, but one of the things I think that this channel does, and that I have done previously, is predict with reasonable confidence and a reasonable degree of accuracy, like what's happening. By spotting the patterns at Games Workshop and saying, oh, well, they usually do this, and they do that, and they do this, and they do that. And it just comes with being uh, someone that consumes all of their, like, marketing media, like, quite avidly and has been in the hobby for a long time. And, and is possibly, I guess this comes from teaching computer science, quite good at spotting patterns and stuff. But now, nah. this has thrown me for a loop uh, in that sense. In that I don't feel like I understand anymore when things are likely to come out and why it seems pretty random to me now so yeah that's the thing um i, mean, I don't begrudge the war the world's players like if, if you were excited about these models it's, it's brilliant for you um but it's a little bit weird that that by comparison war cry and kill team are both like a preview ahead of releases right the for both warcry and kill teams have been two previews now neither of which have got on pre-order yet but and whichever way you slice it and whatever you want to type in the comments about seasons that's weird right that is weird we can all agree on that but it's not all doom and gloom okay so the reason i'm deciding to make this video is actually because there is some positive news right we're gonna get um uh, a kill team battle report, right? And it's going to be. I I would assume, again, based on precedent and and patterns and things, I'm going to assume that it's going to be very much like the last time we got a battle report. So it's the two armies from the new product, right? And there's going to be loads and loads and loads of rules that come up on the screen, um, and they talk about the rules uh, for those teams. And we're not going to learn absolutely everything. But we'll learn quite a lot from the rules, and then possibly if you go through and actually watch it and look at what all the dice rolls are and what they had to roll, we can learn a little bit more, like ballistic skills, weapon skills, armor saves, that kind of thing. So that's great. Now that's fantastic. It, it, it is exciting, and as, especially as a content creator, that's quite exciting. Now, the content creator stuff, I mean, for me, like it comes out on a Wednesday, which is awkward because Wednesdays are our live stream, so I don't know when I'm going to get a standalone video about this out, because obviously at the weekend... Easter weekend, I'm going up to Knott's Kill Team to play in a tournament. We've got the um, the Kill Team Hobby Challenge video to do. We've got a tournament review that we're going to have to do, so the schedule's pretty busy. So it just depends quite on what is happening to me on Easter Sunday. Uh, but what I will do, certainly, when I'm at work on Wednesday at my lunch hour, I'll scan through the video 
and I'll clip any like rules. I won't be able to watch it with sound, but I'll clip any of the rules that come on the screen, and I will post those all in the Discord for people, so I can at least do that. And then, so if you're not a member of the Discord, go and join the. If you don't have Warhammer Plus, right, and this would be legitimately a valuable service to you, go and join the Discord, and you'll see that. And then we can at least talk about the rules on the live stream, right? And I can bring up the Discord then with them all clipped out in, and I can bring that up on the screen, and we can talk through them. So probably we'll do that. And then at some point in the future, maybe that Easter Sunday, maybe not, I will do a full video on, on what's been learned in the Battle Report. And there are other creators out there that might do content, might, may well cover it as well, so that's good. Um, yeah. And that wasn't the only thing as well in, in the video, right? They also had this little bit down at the bottom... After some huge reveals at Adepticon, including the first news of the next edition of Warhammer Age of Sigmar, Warhammer community will continue to bring the hits with new articles about the lore of the mortal realms and information about the modularity of the new rules. We'll also have coverage of the Golden Demon at Adepticon and more information about Kill Team Nightmare and plenty else uh, besides. Now, this all sounds really positive and I want to be positive. Um, I guess I'm in a little bit of a gloomy mood, though, with one thing or another. So the one thing that did cross my mind while I was putting this together, um, more information about Kill Team Nightmare doesn't actually say, like, rules and previews and hype. It doesn't sound overwhelmingly positive. You know, if you contrast it with, like, when they're talking about Age of Sigmar and the Mortal Realms... They, they, they talk about the modularity of the new rules, and they tell you that's what they're going to talk about, and that's exciting. But, just like, more information about Kill Team Nightmare. So, okay, Darkest Timeline, right? What if the only reason we're getting the battle report, like, it's been said a couple of times by people like um, Louise Sugden and Peachy and people who were around when Games Workshop was setting up the whole Warhammer TV thing, that these battle reports and if you watch one you'll see that this is true they're so produced and edited and and they they take a long time like the turnaround time to produce a warhammer tv battle report is massive what if they are um putting this out now because they've they've kind of held it back as long as they can and otherwise they'd have a gap in the schedule because the future things they filmed are filmed for, e for products that are even further away you know um, and what if the new information about Nightmare is going to be telling us that it's delayed for longer for reasons, the pirates or a misprint or a, a, an accident in the factory, you know, it just, like, I don't think that's the case. I think probably, like, we, you know, sensibly, we're going to get the cool battle report this week, we're going to get some cool, like, hype articles about it this week, we're going to get the pre-order on, or the, 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 I think we're probably going to get the, 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 pre the pre-order, uh, the Sunday preview on the 31st, and then the pre-order on the 6th, right? Like, I think that's what's going to happen. Um, but it just, some of the wording in the article, they made me think maybe it's not something, like, gloriously positive, so... Who can say? Who can say? Like we, we, we try and be helpful. We try and be helpful. Like positive, positive mental attitude and all that. So hopefully we're going to see the 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 Sunday preview on the thirty first. We'll have kill team right and um and the pre orders go up on the sixth. And if they went up on the sixth, that's pretty cool because it means it's the first Saturday of the month. So if you're someone that cares about the promotions they run at Warhammer retail stores, they, they do two promotions. They do a miniature of the month, which is a free plastic miniature that anyone can go in and ask for while stocks last, and then a coin that you get for spending £60, right? So one or both of those might be related to Kill Team Nightmare. That's pretty cool, especially if it's like a free, um, you know, Night Lord like, or something that you go home and, and paint before you get the buy. They've, they've done that before, right? They've, they've pre-released, like not often, but they've pre-released before something's actually been available the, the occasionally, very occasionally, like the miniature's been a miniature of the month. I think that happened with the Harvites, if I'm not very much mistaken. Certainly with Horus Heresy, uh, the Beaky Marines as well. Like, it's possible. So, that could be something to look forward to. That could be really interesting as well. So, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, just put this spreadsheet down here. So, for those of you that don't... This is something I keep updated on the Discord every time they, they announce something. Um, for those of you that aren't in the Discord, join the Discord. That seems to be the recurring theme of this um, video. It's free, by the way. You don't need to be a channel member to be in the Discord. I know some other YouTubers run like... If you are a channel member, you get one extra secret special room. And it's where we can talk about whatever. But... Um, for most people, you know, you, you can just be in the Discord and access, like, 90% of the Discord, and it is free. Like, I know so, a lot of channels are like, 
my Discord's only for my members or Patreons, but it's not the case, so link's in the description, join the Discord, get all access to all this stuff, you don't even have to say anything, right? Um... But yeah, as I was saying, so you can see that we've still got Kill Team Nightmare and Warcry Pyre. I mean, spare a thought for the Warcry players, because at least we're getting a battle report and some articles. There's been no mention of, of, of Pyre and Flood at all. So actually, the Warcry guys are now in a worse situation than we are, right? In that they were in the same situation we were in, but now at least we've been thrown these various bones of this article and this... Um, kill team preview uh they are also like they also have this extra box that's been previewed for them and um hasn't like their, their previous one hasn't been released now so let's just talk over the rest of the the rest of the thing so um what's interesting here if i just take the pen like i've been a bit cheeky really honestly uh so you can see that i've put kill team termination in um march april may um it it was never on a graphic that uh, there was going to be a box in March, April, May, right? What the reason I've put it there, and the reason I had like uh, Kill Team box box three in that quarter, March, April, May, is because when I was at Warhammer Fest last year in the seminar, um, and they put the Kill Team roadmap up, and then Eddie Eccles said verbally like something to the effect of, um, and you can assume that Kill Team releases will carry on at the same pace after that right then it was just an off the cuff remark like that so so we penciled in like another kill team box for the following uh season right uh, the you know march april may right the following yeah uh but really the kill team termination should be in the um should be in the 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 what we call what we're calling the timeless wastes now here so because we're not we haven't had new roadmaps except for 40k they extended the 40k roadmap since Fest, so that's why there's 40k stuff slated for July, uh, June, July, August, because 40k has had... Any, no one else has had a roadmap. So we're now seeing the stuff that is coming out and has been previewed that was never on uh, any kind of a roadmap. Um, and perhaps uh, Kill Determination should be over there. I haven't actually... I, I feel like Warcry... The Warcry roadmap did include March, April, May, so I feel like Warcry, Briar and Bone is where it's supposed to be. Uh, but yeah. But even so, you can kind of see where we are. So we're still waiting for that Kill Team box, that Warcry box, that are very, very late now. Uh, Nightmare and Pine and Flood. Um, and you can also see there, Warhammer Underworlds Wintermore, coloured in green, slap in the middle of some yellow stuff that's been that's been hype uh, stream previewed. So if it's in yellow, it's been hype stream previewed. If it's uh, in white, it's been printed on a roadmap, or in the case of those two new things in the Timeless Wastes, the, the Mechanica in 30k or Necromunder Hive Secundus question mark question mark, that refers to the teaser videos right from Adepticon, where we kind of know there's something coming, but we don't know exactly what it is. Uh, and then if it's in green, it's been Sunday previewed or released for release for pre-order. Um, so, like it's been the case for a while, but logically the next release should be Kill Team Nightmare. Uh, but that's been true for about four weeks, at least, right? And they've found other stuff to release for the, that's later, right? including Wintermore. But I, I, I don't want to dwell on the point. I risk repeating myself, right? So let's just let's just move on. So that, that basically wraps up the video. Um, so it is a shorter one today, coming in at like 15 minutes. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting the rules for these teams. I really am. I think that'll be... Like, whatever else happens with the release, like, at least getting the battle report next week is exciting. And getting the extra rules they decide to give us uh, to go with that is is exciting. So that's a positive thing. I'm really pleased about that. That's, that's, that's great. Um, yeah. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. That, that's fantastic. And pop into the hobby stream on Wednesday. Like, we do a hobby stream every Wednesday, half past... 7 UK time, right? So it goes till about 10 o'clock, right? So uh, we'll be talking there about whatever's released in the in the in the in the uh, the, the bat rep. So you know, be there or be square, you know. Um, and and then yeah, thank you. I want to a big shout out to all my members, right? So I mean, look, everybody that supports the channel, even just people that subscribe, is massively appreciated because we're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, right? But everyone, uh, you know, there are people that go above and beyond and actually have become a YouTube member, which means that they pay monthly and they get very little for it, honestly, in exchange. You know, there's, there's that they get like, um, 
uh, access to past live streams, and that's an, an extra room on the Discord, and honestly, that's about it. But there are two legends, uh, Mr. Nightfall and Mr. Massive Crit, who actually subscribe at an even higher tier, and one of the little extra benefits that they get is they get a personalised shout-out at the end of every video just like this. So thank you, des thank you desperately, sir, Mr. Nightfall, and thank you desperately, Mr. Massive Crit. All right, guys, thank you for listening, and I will uh, bid you adieu, and I will uh, hopefully get another video out for you on... What day do I do videos? Tuesday. Yeah, that's the one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye.